Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. So I'm kind of in a different setup and there's probably yellow lighting. I did not feel like bringing out my complete setup with all three of my lights and I just did not feel it today. So last night I filmed a video and I just wasn't happy with it. And if you do YouTube, you understand like the feeling of disappointment after filming and getting ready to edit and it's just like, it's complete crap. Like you don't like it. And I refuse to put out anything that's better than amazing, in my personal opinion, uh, for my content. And I don't want you guys to watch something that I half-assed. So we're going to restart and it's going to be today's... In today's video, I'm going to share some things that I got from Ulta because there was a sale going on. I had an email about a 20% off coupon. So 20% off coupon off of high-end products. And... I have never seen a sale for high-end products with Ulta. Maybe it's just I didn't pay attention to my email last year. But yeah, I was really excited. Um, I think I only got like three things though, or four, like that were actually high-end. And then I just kind of got some other stuff. So the first thing that I want to talk about is after I uploaded my Get Ready With Me, like my Chit Chat Get Ready With Me video, and I talked about my acne in it, I got a few recommendations to try out Murad. So, when I was in Ulta today, I went ahead and picked up the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. It says it helps treat existing acne and prevents future breakouts. Delivers time-released acne medication that remains active for hours even after rinsing. So, this is what it looks like. It has salicylic acid um, that it's continually releasing after you rinse it off. And then it says silver citrate. Helps purify skin surface, promoting a clarified complexion. Black cohosh and green tea extract helps smooth, soothe acne, stress skin. That was a mouthful. So I'm trying this out. Um, so I'm trying this out. I got the step one, which is the cleanser. And then I got step two, which is treat slash repair. And it's this acne clearing solution. So I saw this there and then I also saw a spot treatment. I figured I would get this. I think this is like... I feel like it's something that you rub all over your face. I think that's what I saw. It says salicylic acid and queen of meadow extract fight breakouts and keep pores clear of acne causing debris. Vitamin blend soothes and supports healing of inflamed acne stressed skin. Tea tree oil creates a purified environment discouraging future breakouts. It says um, you're supposed to massage evenly all over clean face, neck and chest, follow with a moisturizer. So I'm not going to use a Murad moisturizer. Um, this was quite expensive as it is. So if anything, I'm probably going to use my CeraVe moisturizer until I, maybe in like a week or two, I'll probably invest in their moisturizer. The next item that I got is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. So this is what it looks like right here. I've seen this quite a few times already and I was just like, you know what? No, I have Batiste at home. I have baby powder at home. Like don't spend your money on it. But I saw it at the store and I was like, you know what, you might as well just get it. Like, And when I smell it, it has a really clean like smell to it. I typically wash my hair. I typically allow my hair to go from three to eight days without washing it. And I'm sure some of you are like, eight days, girl, you are nasty as hell. I promise I'm not. That is why dry shampoo was invented. So yeah, eight days is like my maximum that I will go without washing my hair. And you aren't supposed to wash your hair every day just in case you didn't know because that will strip the oils from your hair. The next thing that I got was this like barrette looking thing and this is for my mom. Um, I got it for her for Christmas because she likes to wear things like this. And I also got her like a good amount of makeup because she wants to start wearing makeup. She had LASIK surgery so she no longer wears glasses so she wants to start wearing makeup again so I got her a good amount of makeup which I'm not going to show on here because it's already wrapped. But I also got the benefit high beam highlighter and i had seen this for a long time like on different youtube channels but ow but i never thought about trying it out and um i bought the champagne pop from jacqueline hill my queen and i wasn't a fan of it i felt like it was way too glittery so i wanted to try this out and i was talking to the girl about it and she said that whenever you use it it, it doesn't it doesn't look pink but Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, so that looks really pretty, guys. I don't know if you could see it, but I think it looks really pretty. The next item that I got was Gimme Brow, and this is a brow voluminizing fiber gel in the color, I guess, 5. So that's what it looks like right there. Um, I do use Anastasia Beverly. I do use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, and then I also have her Brow Wiz. 
but I wanted to try this out because if it's like this it'll be a lot faster just to groom through my brows like before I head to the gym or you know if I have some errands to run it'll be a lot quicker instead of just like sitting there and actually filling them in so this is what it looks like and when you open it, it has like a wand so I guess you just brush this through your brows <clears throat> excuse me the next item I got oh I guess this was free color drenched lip cream yeah I think this she gave me this for free whenever I finished purchasing all my stuff ooh it says mean girls that's interesting aren't they supposed to have like a comeback movie or something like that wow this is pretty I don't really like pinks I like nude colors but that looks really pretty I can swatch on the back of my hand Ooh, that feels nice too. I feel like that might be, um, it wouldn't be too heavy on the lips, so I think that'd be cool to wear just throughout the day. It's really cute, and it's hot pink. The next thing that I got was the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. This is my go-to, you guys. It is, it's everything. As you guys know, that this is what it looks like. Basic mascara, but I really like this one a lot. So... Not quite sure how much it is, but I do think it is worth the money. I highly recommend this, you guys. Um, I really enjoy it. I've been using it for a while now. And I do prefer it over any of my drugstore ones. Next, I got a sample of the Photo Finish Primer Water from Smashbox. So as you can tell, I kind of just went a little crazy and just kind of got whatever like I saw because I haven't gone like makeup shopping in a while, I think. I feel like it's been a while. I think ever since I got that Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, that was probably the last time I really bought makeup. Um, but yeah, so this is it right here. Casey Holmes raves about this, so I wanted to try it out and give it a shot. I didn't want to buy the full thing, though, so I saw this sample, and I was like, okay, let me just get that. And the last thing that I bought was the Sweethearts Bronzer. I saw this on Whitney's channel, and I wanted to try it out. It looked really pretty. Um, I've been using my Hula bronzer for like ever, you guys, like forever. I feel like it's been a year or two years that I've been using that. Maybe like, I want to say two years. But this is what it looks like, and I swatched it in store, and it was absolutely stunning. So thank you, Whitney, for the recommendation. And the last thing that I got was this Restore Brilliance Hydro Gel Eye Treatment. So this is what it looks like right here. I feel like I've seen this on Instagram, but this is what you do... We're going to go ahead and try it out on camera. It says, brightens more than your outlook with pearl extract and vitamins. And on the back it says that it's like the restore treatment. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out. I'm going to go wash my hands and I'll be right back. So I finally got it open and this is what it looks like. It took me scissors to open it up and it says, remove both treatments from tray. Pat onto clean, dry skin underneath the eye area. Gently press, pressing edges until fully adheres to skin. So I think we're going to take, oh, that feels odd. Oh, that feels so rubbery. It feels good though. Am I doing, I feel like I'm doing this so wrong. I hate myself. Oh my goodness. So I got one on and I'm so scared that this is going to end up getting in my eyes or something. But if it does, we will be okay. I'll put the second one on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. Um... And it says to leave it on here for 45 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and set a timer on my phone. I'm going to set a 45-minute timer on my phone, and I'm going to come back to you guys and let you know if I think it's just a gimmicky BS thing or if I feel like my under eyes looked a little bit better. Since I had started college, um, even though I've only been a part-time student, I feel like I purposely stayed up later almost every night. And ever since high school I have gotten like deep under bags and it's just disgusting but it's my fault for not going to sleep early so yeah I'm going to show you guys if it looks a little bit better whenever um I am <laughs> whenever I take it off now I just spent about three minutes looking for my phone and guess where it was it was in my pocket all right so I'm going to set a 45 minute timer Go ahead and click start. So I'm gonna wait 45 minutes. I might lay down. I don't know because it was like sliding. Yeah, they keep sliding down. So I'm gonna lay down. Just watch YouTube for a little bit. 
Or actually, I can lay down. I'm gonna lay down and edit this clip. So, that's what I'm gonna do, and I will catch you guys when I take it. Alright, love books. So, I just completely edited the entire video. It's gonna be like 10 to 12 minutes long. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove them now. My timer's gonna go off very soon. Ooh. So, you guys. <laughs> You guys might not be able to see much of a difference because of the skin blurring effect, but I'm going to turn around, look in the mirror, and I'm going to let you guys know what I If anything, I feel like my under eyes look very smooth, and I don't know. I like how they look. It's not like it's going to instantly brighten them up or anything like that, but I don't know. It may just be like a gimmicky product, but I really liked it. I enjoyed having it on my eyes. Um, they do have an entire face one, so if you guys want me to try it out and let you know my opinion, I will do so. If there's any other products you want me to try out, comment them down below. Alright yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up Vlogmas Day 8. It was just a quick little Ulta haul, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm not going to put out anything that is less than amazing content in my eyes. And I feel like this video was fun. It was just us hanging out as girlfriends. It's just us hanging out as girlfriends or if you're a guy and watching this, guy, friend, girlfriend, we're friends, you get what I'm saying? So it's just like we're hanging out and we're just chit-chatting about some things that I just purchased. Maybe you guys want to try out some of the things, let me know. Um, I think I'm going to like everything that I bought. I did like the little under eye mask. Like I said, if you want me to try out the full mask, it'll look super funny applying it. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down below. Don't forget to enter my December giveaway by giving the video a thumbs up, commenting down below, making sure you're subscribed, and thank you so much for 21,000 subscribers. Holy moly! When I say 21,000, my heart is just like shook and like I'm about to fall. 21,000, you guys. That is insane. <sighs> And to some people, you know, I know it's just a number, but that many people supporting me, even if you aren't a supporter, even though if you don't like me, but you're still subscribed to my channel, I consider you a supporter, I consider you a friend, even though maybe you're only subscribed to be hateful, I, I don't care. I, I know that God would want me to express love to everyone the way he expresses love to me, and I know my love, sorry guys. I know my love will never be as amazing as his is, but I want to put as much love as I can back out into the world, even if somebody is ugly towards me. Um, I feel like it really takes somebody to be a bigger person to do those things, and it makes me kind of want to like tear up because I don't think I've ever been this mature in my life, and I know I'm only 19, but when I was in middle school and high school, I was just such an ugly person, you know, basically until I met Joshua, and even then, I was... I'm still working on myself daily, but my point is, like, I have grown so much, and it just makes me really happy inside to, um, you know, to be able to put mean comments or negative people or just people who, like, even though it's a mean comment, it's just, like, there's so much thought into that mean comment, it kind of hurts sometimes, but I know I can have a strong wall built up, but deep down, I promise you guys, like, I'm such a loving person, and even though people are mean to me, there's always going to be mean people in this world and all you can do is show love back the way that God shows you love. And even though my love will never compare to his, I just want to put my love back into the world and I want to try to be nice and I want to try to be helpful. Speaking of being helpful, if I haven't responded to any DMs, I really apologize. I feel like it's been flooded with like people asking me to promote things like BS things especially those tea things which I'm not going to do so I kind of haven't gone through them but I will try to respond as soon as I can um and yeah thank you for watching all the way through if you did don't forget to enter my December giveaway by giving the video a thumbs up commenting down below making sure you're subscribed and I will catch you guys later on today in vlogmas day nine because I am a little bit behind but I'm catching up bye guys